Hey guys, welcome back to another math lesson with Heike Math and Science. This video will be about finding the rule using tables and by the end of this lesson we should be able to understand that the rule for a linear equation can be determined from a table of values, be able to find the rule for a table of values and finally be able to find the rule from a linear graph when the coordinates are known for x value. So let's just take a moment to write these down. So pause the video here. Alright, so let's start off with what a rule is. A rule is an equation that describes the relationship between the x-coordinate and y-coordinate in a table or graph. So it will be written as an equation that looks something like this. y equals the coefficient of x plus the constant. So if you remember from earlier this term, we'll know that the coefficient is the number in front of a letter. So the coefficient of x in this case will be 3. So the coefficient of x goes here and the constant, if you also remember from earlier this term, constant is a number that doesn't have a letter behind it so this would be the constant there so the form is usually y equals the con coefficient of x so something goes there x plus another constant there All right, so adding on from that the coefficient of x so the number that goes right there in front of the x will be positive if there is an increase in y as x increases by one so have a look at this table as x increases by one as we go across y is also increasing there in this case it's going up by two so that means the coefficient of x will be positive. However, the coefficient of x will be negative if there is a decrease in y as x increases by 1. So x is still increasing by 1 across to the right, but in this case, y is going down by 1 here. So that means because y is decreasing as x is increasing, the coefficient of x will be a negative value. And adding on from that, let's include how much um, y is decreasing or increasing by. In this case, y is increasing by 2 each time x goes up by 1. So that means that number is going to be positive 2, like you can see here. And in this case, the y is going down by 1 each time x goes up by 1. So that is going to be negative 1. So that's the same as saying y equals negative 1 x minus 1. And remember, we don't really need to write the 1 there. So that's exactly the same as writing y equals negative x minus 1. And to find the constant, the constant will be the value of y when x equals 0. If the value of y when x equals 0 is not given in the table like below here, substitute another pair of coordinates to find the value of the co constant algebraically. So if the table of values did include when x equals 0, you just write the y value there as the constant. However, if it doesn't have it, like in this table, we're going to substitute any one of these into y and x. In this case, they substituted the points 2 and 5. So remember, 5 is the y, so y goes into here y went into there, the 5 went into there, and the 2 will go into there. So that will be 5 equals 2 times 2 plus the square. We don't know what that is. So square, if you work it out algebraically, let's do that together actually. 2x plus square, I'm going to substitute 2, 5, so that's the y, that's the x. 5 equals 2 times 2 plus square. 5 is going to equal 4 plus square. And remember, we need to um, subtract 4 on both sides to get the square by itself, and that gives me 1 on the left equals square. So we know the constant or the square is equal to 1. All right, now let's have a go at putting this into practice. Let's have a go at finding the rules for these tables of values. So we have this table here, table A. We're going to start off by finding the coefficient in this case. So remember the general form of a linear equation is y equals coefficient of x plus a constant. All right, and to find this coefficient, we need to know how much y changes each time x increases by 1. So it's increasing by 1 as we go to the right. In this case, it looks like it's going up 3 each time we go to the right here. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is plus 1. And positive 1 plus 3 is positive 4. So this is correct in the case. So we know that y, the, po the coefficient of this one, is going to be positive 3. So we know that's 3x and we just need to find the constant now. So remember the constant is when x equals 0. So x equals 0 is right here and the, val the point below that is going to be our constant. So our equation is just going to be y equals 3x minus 2. Alright, now moving on to the next question, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Let's start off by writing out the format of a linear equation. So it's going to look like that. So once again, start off by finding the coefficient. Remember, we need to find how much y changes each time x goes up by 1. So in this case, I can see it decreasing by negative 2. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9, and so on. So we know our coefficient is going to be negative 2 here. So y equals negative 2x. And now to find the constant, that's when x equals 0. But in this case, we don't have an, a known x equals 0 value. 
So in this case, we're going to find it by substituting any one of these points into there. I'm just going to pick this one here. Substitute negative 5 into the y and the 3 into the x. So that gives me negative 5 equals negative 2 times 3 plus the constant or a square. That gives me negative 5 equals negative 6 plus the square. And to get um, the square by itself, I need to add 6 on both sides. That gives me 1 on the left and just the square here. So our square is 1. So we know that the constant is 1. So our final equation is going to be y equals negative 2x like we found up here. Plus, we're just going to substitute that into here. That gives me y equals negative 2x plus 1. All right, now moving on, pause the video here. Have a go at this one by yourself and just unpause it when you're ready to go through it with me. All right, so once again, let's start off by writing out the general format of a linear equation. y equals the constant x plus the coefficient of x, sorry, plus a constant. And we find the coefficient of x by finding how much y changes each time x goes up by 1. So in this case, it looks like we're adding 2 each time. Yeah, negative 1 plus 2 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 5 plus 2 is 7, so that is correct. So we know our coefficient is going to be 2 there, so y equals 2x plus something. Right, and remember, our constant here is just when x equals 0, we do have an x equals 0 value here, so our constant is just going to be 3. So y equals 2x plus 3 there, give yourself a tick if you got that correct. Alright, now moving on to the next question, let's start off by writing out the general format again. y equals square x plus a square. And y equals, we need to find the coefficient. So the coefficient is, once again, difference in y each time x goes up by 1. In this case, it looks like we're subtracting 3 each time. Yeah, that's correct, we're subtracting 3. So we know the coefficient is going to be negative 3. So it'll be y equals negative 3x plus a constant. And in this case, we don't know where... Uh, what y is when x equals 0 because it isn't on the table. So remember if it isn't on the table We're going to substitute one of these values in. I'll just do the first one again. You could use any one here So 10 because that's the y equals negative 3 times 2 plus the constant That gives me 10 equals negative 6 plus a constant. I need to get rid of negative, negative 6 on the right So I'm going to add 6 to both sides That gives me 16 on the left and just the square on the right. So our square or the constant is going to be 16. So that means our final and so the equation for this table is y equals negative 3x plus 16. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct as well. And right, now moving on to the next question, we need to find the rule for this graph by first constructing a table of x, y values. So in this case, we need to make one of these x uh, tables and then find the equation. All right, so let's have a go at doing that. Let's construct our own table. It looks something like this, the x on the top and the y on the bottom. Let's just draw a line through there. And our first point is x is negative 1 and y is negative 3. Next point is right there, that's when x equals 0, y equals negative 2. Next point is when x equals 1, y equals negative 1. Next point is when x equals 2, y equals 0. And the last one is when x equals 3 and y equals 1. All right, to start off again by writing out the general for format, of a linear equation it should look like this and then we're going to find the coefficient of the x here so we're going to find out the change in y each time x goes up by one in this case it looks like it is going up by one each time negative three plus one is negative two and negative two plus one is negative one and so on so we know our coefficient is going to be positive one so we can just write y equals x now moving on to the next part we need to find the constant that's when x equals 0, that's over here, and we know that the y value for that is negative 2, so it will just be y equals x minus 2. All right, now moving on, it's your turn, pause the video here, have a go at this one by yourself, and just unpause it when you're ready to go through it with me. All right, so in this case, we need to find the rule for this graph again, so just like before, we're going to construct a table of values here. So remember, x at the top, y at the bottom. Our first x value is at negative 1, y will be at negative 5. Next one, we have x is 0, y negative 3. Next one, x is 1, y negative 1. Next one, x is 2, y is 1. And the last one, x is 3, y is 3. Alright, so to find the rule or the equation again, remember start off by writing out the general format. 
happen over here and we're going to start off by finding the coefficient so this one's going up two each time negative five plus two is negative three negative three plus two is negative one and so on so we know the coefficient here will be y equals 2x and we just need to find the constant again that's when x equals zero so that's over here that's the y coordinate there so it'll be y equals 2x minus 3. give yourself a tick for each part you got correct there all right so that brings us to the end of this lesson hopefully you guys have a better understanding of linear graphs now and that you understand the, that the rule for a linear equation can be determined from a table values that you can find the rule for a table values and finally can find the rule from a linear graph when the coordinates are known for x values Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all back online. Uh -huh.